Hey guys, Dustin Miller, PPC Pros. Just doing this quick video. I recently tried using Google Tag Manager on our Divi uh, website. And with Search Console, I was having all kinds of verification issues. It took me an hour or so digging around. I kind of figured out what the issue was. I wanted to share it because there wasn't a lot of information out there. I really had to dig to find what I needed. So put this short video together in case you're having the same problem. We'll jump right in right now. All right, so Google Tag Manager is really great for tracking uh, tracking pixels. Um, anything you're doing with marketing, obviously, uh, installing it is important, right? So setting it up is pretty simple. You add two bits of JavaScript to your website, and I'll show you them right here. So we have in our head section, we have one part of the Tag Manager script, and in the body, another. Um, obviously, if you're having this problem, you already know that. So the issue I found with Divi is that apparently when when Divi adds this bottom code here to the body section, it's showing up at the bottom of the body. And for Tag Manager to function properly or to get verified properly with Search Console, it needs to be closer to the top, like at the very top of the body section. So if you take a look here with Tag Assistant, I'll show you what I mean. Let me just enable and refresh. So you can see, even with the way Divi does it, the way Divi does it, um, Tag Manager is installed properly as far as it firing. So that's really not the issue here. The issue is for whatever reason, uh, Search Console doesn't like the installation. So you're going to see an error like this. Google Tag Manager, so Google Tag Manager snippet on your site is in the wrong location. And we've already verified our website. We did it through analytics, but this is the issue. And I, you know, uninstalled it, I installed it, I, I played around with it for a bit, and I thought to myself, maybe it's something with Divi. I know it's probably kind of a rookie thing to not consider earlier on, but I'm pretty sure everybody else has the same issue if they're trying to use Tag Manager with Divi and they don't do their research first. So what I found to help me out was <clears throat> I actually just installed my tags manually. This is our site, it's not a big deal. But I did find a helpful article on Elegant Themes support. And basically what they're suggesting is using their uh, child theme maker right here at the marketplace and creating a child theme and adding either the header or the um, or the footer PHP file there, adding Tag Manager wherever you want on the child theme. That way when Divi updates, it doesn't overwrite the Tag Manager installation. And then, you know, we already know that uh, tracking codes when they fall off of a site can cause all kinds of havoc and usually you don't find out until after the fact. Actually, I just created a video on that yesterday. Um, I'll put a, a card to it if you want to see it about AdWords conversion tracking and checking on it weekly. But anyhow, so what I'll do is I'm going to post a link to this uh, support uh, support ticket. And that way, if you want to get the information, you can see what these guys are talking about. <clears throat> but suffice it to say, you're either going to have to install your codes manually with Divi, uh, use a plugin. If you want to do that, there's plugins that you can do uh, that you can use that will take care of the uh, take care of adding the the code at the top of the body section. There's plenty of those, or um, you know you can just use the child theme maker. So really up to you, your level of technical skill and desire to do one or the other. For me, I just added it manually to my site and I was good to go. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully I saved you guys. Some headaches, uh, banging your head against the wall trying to figure out why your Divi theme is not playing well with Tag Manager and why Search Console or AdSense or anywhere else is having a hard time verif verifying that the code is on the site correctly. So uh, post any comments you have and hopefully you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.